Hello folks, Phil Gallagher of Thraben, you here for another Legacy video, and I've got something particularly spicy for you today, courtesy of Vittorio G, who wanted me to play with this. Uh, this is a Yorian recurring nightmare deck. Um, we're going pretty deep today. So for you cube fans out there, you probably know Recurring Nightmare because this is just an absolute delight to play with. Sacrifice a creature and return Recurring Nightmare to its owner's hand, and then you get to return target card from your or sorry target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Now this can only be done at sorcery speed. Um, as far as rules things associated with this card, if you take a look at where the colon is. Returning Recurring Nightmare to its owner's hand is actually a part of the cost of activating this card, meaning that Recurring Nightmare is really hard to actually hit with a removal spell. So, we are hoping to sacrifice creatures with ETB triggers like Veteran Explorers and Stitcher Suppliers that we use for some effect in the early game to bring back big scary things like Archon of Cruelty and Primeval Titan. This deck is really all about utility, both in the mana base and the creatures. We have some creatures that are kind of able to come back from the graveyard in one capacity or another, and a lot of creatures that have enter the battlefield triggers or dies triggers of some kind. You're going to have some tutors and some other ways to kind of self-mill or discard in order to put our critical cards into the graveyard. And we've got some other value engines here, with Marin allowing us to return our things to our hands, and ultimately the battlefield, and Eternal Witness to get back whatever we want. Now, um, this is a league that I'm going to be playing in the tournament practice room. Um... I think the I deck he I sorry I think the idea here is really cool, but I don't really know that the deck list as is is up to snuff. So for example, we are this three color deck list that are playing three wastelands and two field of the deads, and we have a bunch of niche utility lands that can like mill or draw cards, or remove creatures, or filter, um, and I'm just not really sure how much cute stuff that we can get away with, both in the card choices and in the mana base here. Um, I'm hesitant to remove cards before I play this deck list, though, as, like, this deck list is wild enough that I want to make sure I understand the moving parts before I start editing it. But I imagine that I'm just going to want more, uh, air quotes, normal lands in this deck list rather than some amount of the cute utility. Um, generally speaking, I felt like most of the utility lands outside of mo some of the more recent uh, channel lands have just not been up to snuff in Legacy Power level. So while I very much understand wanting to, like, be able to mill myself to hit life from the low, mill myself to be able to hit Uro, I just don't know that, like, the opportunity cost of physically losing a land that I have to play out to do its thing is is worth it. So um, I, I imagine I'm going to be going back to the mana base here. I'm also not sure that some of these cards are worth the slots, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, similarly, in the sideboard, there is uh, there is some spice over here with things like City of Solitude and Whip Tongue Hydra, um, and we'll, we're going to try to evaluate like the what is good spice, what is bad spice, and turn this deck list into something delicious by the end of this air quotes league. Um, I guess one other thing I want to mention here, I'm not really sure that Sidisi is strong enough for Legacy. Like, it's super cool that it's somewhat of a fatty that can get stuff into the graveyard and, like, combos with your Recurring Nightmare relatively well. But I usually feel like the bottleneck on Recurring Nightmare tends to be mana, not number of creatures, so I don't really know how necessary Sidisi is. Um, I also don't really like playing out high CMC legendary creatures in a Caracas format. That often comes back to bite me. 
Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say here. Um, let's go ahead and jump into some matches and see how this wild, wild deck list does. I didn't even mention, like, Field of the Dead. Like, that's here, too. Um, anyway, please consider throwing me a like before this video begins. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. If you end up wanting to mess around with this deck list more or you want to get your own deck onto the channel, all that information is available in the video description. Let's battle. All right, round one opening hand. We've got six lands, so this is going to have to be a mulligan. Um, this hand doesn't do anything. Like, I've got Entomb and Careful Study. No real payoff here. I don't have green mana for green sun. I certainly can't, can't cast Leovold with Field of the Dead here. Um, I think I'd rather go to five than gamble off of Careful Study. And let's take this opportunity to mute my phone and then keep this hand. Um, what do I not want? I don't want the second life from the loam. I'm not ready for Recurring Nightmare yet. But I want to live the fucking dream. So, here we are. Okay, that's scary. I have no basic lands in my hand. And I can't cast that Cabal Therapy. Um, if we're going to get Blood Mooned, I'm going to just play out Wasteland here. So that I can waste a soul land that happens this turn oh ah that's weird that's really weird because burn or red prison should have made a play by now if they kept their hand oh that's verdant catacombs I do have oh yeah, okay i do have islands in my deck um i'm going to just cast this card and return that verdant catacombs and then i can work on getting a swamp next turn if i don't get mooned all right, what are you what are you doing? Wow, this is a really bad red prison hand. Or I should probably call it Moon Stompy here. Um I need a creature first. Um I'm not gonna dredge this turn. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm fetching a swamp. I'm very certain about that. I'm very certain. But I'm casting a Cabal Therapy. And this part gets a little harder. I don't know what build they're on. If they're on Planeswalkers, I'm supposed to name Chandra Torch of Defiance. And if they're not, I'm probably supposed to name something they couldn't really have played out yet, like a Fury. I don't feel like they have a Rabble Master. They would have played that out first in a lot of worlds because of the clock. Name straight up Fury. Oh. Okay. The spice floweth over there. What does this do? Alright, okay. 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 Um. YouTube? I'm scared. I also kind of think my opponent misplayed there. Um, I think they're supposed to loot away um, some of these three damage spells to try to slam um, Court of Ire. <clears throat> because I am sure not beating that card, and they get the fourth mana here. I'll shut up if they drew a mountain for turn. They drew a Simmons Spirit Guide for turn. I take it back. Um. Okay, first of all, bonus deck list is sweet. Second of all, I'm fucked. <laughs> We're going to dredge life from the limb, try to hit some giant fucking creature. Uh, success. I'm going to <clears throat> play Recurring Nightmare. Play out Dryad Arbor, Recurring Nightmare, Target Primeval Titan, Sacrifice Dryad Arbor, Primeval Titan happens, which allows me to get a Field of the Dead, and um, I don't know, maybe I want like a Cabal Pit. I'm only at five cards in Graveyard, awkwardly. Cabal Pit's not really good yet, and the life loss is super relevant. A green blue land like Tropical Island, then. All right. Now, this Primeval Titan is just going to get double bolted. Or that. Um, Jesus. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, this game is sweet. Like, say what you will about some of the other stuff, but like, this is sick. Uh, my, my, my danger alarm was going off. Like, this is. A very, very, very bad red prison draw. Why did they keep this? And the answer was, like, it is not red prison. This is a wild burn variant. Just ow. <clears throat> I imagine most of these get rattled off at my face here. 
Yeah. All right. Don't. Oh, oh God. Uh, yeah. Casual six six trampler that my opponent can copy. Uh, good God. Is this is oh, this is any target? Wow. Like I did a good thing here. <clears throat> I can life from the loam, primeval titan, like, make another primeval titan and a couple of tokens for field of the dead. That doesn't just stop me from dying to lightning bolt plus court of ire. This is any target. Wow. Holy hell. Dick deck opponent. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, life gain though? This is fine. This is just a creature that lives through Lightning Bolt might be acceptable. Same here. Um, do you have relevant modes? Technically blows up an enchantment. I imagine there's going to be some, some stuff in here that I don't really want. Recording with this deck is going to be really hard. Very happy we got the Recurring Nightmare thing going. But, man. What murder. Marin feels worse than Rex Sage. Odyssey is dying to lightning bolts in a way that I really don't like here. Her? Uh, I don't, I don't know. We're going to replace this card with uh, Questing Beast. Pronouns very unclear for Snake Person here. And I'm going to play this, I guess. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ah, uh, over... Maybe this card isn't great since it requires life. Yeah, but we got the... We got like a turn four primeval titan, I think. That was pretty sick. Let's try to do that again. Um, my mana's bad here. I think I still keep this since I have acceleration. Oh man, this is an ETB tapped land. That's so bad. That's so bad. Alright. Um Riot Arbor, I choose you. <clears throat> then we'll pass our turn. And see if we get immediately bolted. Oh. Okay. Fury is in the deck. Eidolon is good. Um, this being an ETB tapped land here is very bad. Also, this is maybe not a reasonable card. With how many different lands I have um, that aren't snow. How good is a green sun for two? Not great. Green sun for three. We'll get Rex Sage. That probably means playing this land tapped this turn. Yeah, this uh this ETB tap land is huge here. So we're gonna take two from this bad boy here. And then we'll see how bad the rest of the turn cycle is for me. Bad. That's very good value. Um Wasteland's at a relative low here. Is there a world where I just play Questing Beast? It's vigilant. That better than blowing up one of these two cards? Unsure. I think Rex Sage is better here. But I think it's hitting this. I can't really beat my opponent making a whole bunch of copies of something right now. Um, there's not a lot of removal in this deck list. So let's get our Rex Sage. And much more long term, I can look at winning this matchup via something like an Uro. But I don't really feel like I'm there yet. And I also don't have access to the second blue. Like, very much feeling um, the downside of my mana base here between these two lands. Alright, Seal of Fire takes out Rex Sage, so I don't get to trade with these bodies like I was hoping to do. And my Ice Fang Coatl also doesn't trade with them. Alright, I go to 14. Oh, ho. And, oh god, it's so big. It's so big. Doesn't fly, right? Tramples. That's Death Touch. I am currently debating whether or not it's worth the two life to play a careful study. Getting this into play would be pretty spicy, but it doesn't line up well versus this threat. I don't think it's currently worth the two life to play Questing Beast. Alright, Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. I can crash in with this. Like, I'm happy to trade with this card offensively or defensively. Yep. Opponent recognizes that, like, it's better to just get it off the battlefield now. 
Still just taking four damage this turn. I don't really think I can block with Dryad Arbor. I also don't have access to black mana. Life's bad. Uh, GG. We're a hundred percent dead here to our mana base. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Fawn's deck is sweet. Like I really like what they got going on over there. All right. Um, opening hand has no colored mana. Has to be a mulligan. Um, this hand is going to be a keep. I think Waddle is never gonna have Death Touch. Absolutely never. I might still play it. I am kind of debating whether or not, like, whether or not I like Green Sun. I don't really think I do. I also don't really like Wasteland here, because, like, it's not contributing to my colored pips in a good way. I think I'm just going to play Verdant and Pass, so I'm less likely to eat a... Uh, um, so I'm less likely to eat a Wasteland from my opponent. All right. What are we looking at? Are we looking at Elves? All right, we are looking at Elves, and it's an actual factual Findhorn Elves. Rare Butterfly Net. Don't see one of those very often. Um, I think this has to be Underground Sea. And I will Thought Scour myself. Hit Tenacious Underdog. That's not really what I'm looking for. I wanted a stick target for Recurring Nightmare. Um, I think I'm just going to be playing Ice Fang Kawaddle at instant speed at my opponent's turn. Um, probably going to feel the pain land here. All right, that's fine. That's also fine. All right, opponent is planning on fetching a Dryad Arbor um, from the look of things here. Bayou? I don't really need black, black. <clears throat> I need something that has green and maybe more blue for some worlds. Let's grab a Trop then. Like, um, this hurts me, so if I can, like, not use that, that would be cool. Don't need to worry about this having Death Touch. The ball therapy. That's okay. Probably do that this turn. Just kind of questioning whether or not I want a careful study first. I think I want a careful study first. Like, my lines could change in some worlds. I think I need two chances at therapy here. Um, I'll keep a Wasteland for a Cradle. I can't use Wasteland to disrupt the Dryad Arbor here. So, let us cast Cabal Therapy. Um, I think this is a natural order moment. That's one of those things that could just kill me next turn. Whiff! Um, I'm interested in casting Cabal Therapy again. Limps and Allosaurus Shepherd are both horrifying. And very hard to beat. I think it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, honestly. Like, I think I lose to both of those cards in different ways. I think I have to hope for a bad glimpse and take Allosaurus Shepherd. I'm just so bad at beating that card. I don't actually have that much removal here. I'm going to ignore attempting to kill Dryad Arbor. I just feel like that's going to be a trap for me. Like, a lot of worlds... And I'll just F6 here. A lot of worlds where I win involve me cantripping into something very powerful. Um, but, like, life's bad. I'm just, like, very quickly noticing, like, lack of interaction with my opponents in this deck list. And I don't think I'm anywhere as consistent as Reanimator in popping something sweet out of the graveyard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, there's a the, there's the natural order. Back it in. Let's uh, see what we can do. And we don't have, like, any Plague Engineers in the sideboard or anything? I don't know about that. Sideboard zero? That's super unfortunate. I could get Questing Beast as something that can attack into my opponent's stuff. I don't have any, like, Elesh Norn quality target. I don't feel like I have a chance in this matchup. I have basically zero removal. Okay. Alright. We'll see where it goes.
Uh, by the way, side note, I just realized that um, I had my volume one setting below normal. Um, so if you thought the audio like just now got louder, you were right. Okay, I have an entomb. I have a recurring nightmare. I have a creature that I could sacrifice, but I don't have enough land. Like, this hand has problems, but it has, like, A plus B combo piece. But, like, this is an A plus B plus C deck. I think I have to take one... Uh... I think I have to take one here. I think this has to get trop to supplement some of my draws. And it's, like, unfortunate that I drew Archon, because, like, Archon is something that I, like, probably would have wanted to search up. But... Can't have it all. I don't really know that our opponent knows what on earth I'm doing. I barely know what I'm doing. Alright. Um, how on earth is this organized? Alphabetically. Okay. Um, Primeval Titan, I guess, is what I'm getting. That doesn't feel great. <laughs> Alright. There are worlds where I am supposed to end of turn fetch Dryad Arbor and just hope to draw any land. Okay. <laughs> That's bad. Um, this is probably a value glimpse rather than a glimpse that kills me. But, like, I, I don't have the Grizzle Brand. I don't have, like, the overwhelmingly powerful card that... Okay, now it could be a glimpse that kills me. I don't have the overwhelmingly powerful card that if it gets into play, I just win the game. My opponent can do Birchlore shenanigans. Okay, at, at this point, I think I'm committed to, like, Dryad Arbor, get lucky. And I'm just gonna F6. Okay. So, there's more mana. I, I think I'm, I, like, with one more elf, I'm just, like, dead next turn, right? Like, Allosaurus Shepherd just activates its 5-5s. Five okay, this is three elves in play. Nettle Sentinel plus Elvish Visionary gets the fourth elf in play, and then I'm just deterministically dead next turn. Okay, uh, missed on my land drop. Um, I'm comfortable conceding here. Like, this is not gonna happen. Um, yeah... Let's let's play one more game for a larger sample size, and then let's retool this deck. All right, we're here for our tune-up. Um, this is the post-tune-up deck list. I'm going to briefly talk about some of the things that I did. Um, so thing number one is I cut a lot of the cute utility lands for things that are just going to allow me to cast my spells. Um, we, I won't say we tripped over our mana. Like, the mana wasn't that bad, but I don't think I activated a single one of the utility lands that I cut in the first three rounds, and that makes me feel okay about this. Um, trying to be a three-color Yorian Field of the Dead decklist comes with some challenges, so I'm a little bit scraping the bottom of the barrel for some of these lands. Um, I'm trying to play a couple of fast lands to get me through the first three turns. Sometimes those will be awkward with, like, bringing back an Uro or trying to cast some of this stuff. Um, but you get to play, like, check lands or additional copies of the duels, which don't work towards Field of the Dead. Um, and I'm overall okay with this. Um, I think I also added a Triome and then one of each one of the shock lands. Next, I cut some of the lower power level cards. Um, so the two-drop black card with Blitz, the careful studies. I cut some of those for more copies of things that were already in the deck. Um, so I maxed out on Stitcher Supplier, I maxed out on Thought Scours and Cabal Therapies, and then I added Baleful Strix. Um, Ice Fang Kawaddle is often not going to be death-touching in the early game, um, kind of depending on what your mana looks like. I think Baleful Strix is better for this deck list, but I think it's a Porque No Los Dos, like why not both situation, um, where playing both of those works well with the recurring Nightmare side of the deck list. And then I found room for a main deck collector and an endurance. Um, and I think this is going to leave me with a higher density of reasonable cards without detracting too much from my ability to potentially put a fatty into the graveyard. 
I think the thing about this deck list is you don't necessarily have to do the fatty, right? Like, this is not the low to the ground reanimator deck list that is always going to, like, do the same thing. This is like, I'm going to get my value off this recurring nightmare, and it will eventually bury you. Um, so while you can get the oops, I won games, we're in it for the long haul. We're a field of the dead deck. Um, I completely retooled the sideboard, opting for more copies of Endurance over Leyline, so those can be more generally applicable, and opting for Carpet of Flowers just to allow us to cast all of our cards, and I think that's going to be better in the blue matchups than a lot of the other stuff that was already there. And of course, we'll keep the, keep the Whip Tongue Hydra, because it's going to be really funny if it works. Let's try to get some more games in. All right, um, I'm keeping my hand here. Um, it's a little awkward because, like, I have Entomb, but not a Recurring Nightmare. I have Veteran Explorer, but not a way to sacrifice it without using the uh, Entomb to get Cabal Therapy. Um, all around just an awkward hand. Like, I can play Veteran Explorer on... Or it'd probably be better to Entomb. I don't, I don't know. Like, I have a hand of cards. My opponent has mulligan to five. If they're doing something unfair, I'm not super good at stopping it. I think I'm just going to get, like, a Bayou cast Green Sun, then get Trop with Polluted Delta or something like that and cast Leovold on turn two. That's my best recourse versus something unfair. Also, like, we're a Yorian deck, but are we supposed to be a Yorian deck? I don't know. I've got, I've got things to think about. All right. Misty Rainforest, Thatch, Bayou, Green Sun, Dryad Arbor, all at a turn. Look vaguely like Elves. Oh, Volcanic Island. That's a relatively fair play. Um, I can just fetch and play Life from the Loom and try to stabilize my mana. If this is Delver, that's probably what I want to do. My opponent doesn't have Lightning Bolt, or I wouldn't have a Dryad Arbor, but they very much could have Days. At the same time, this also could be Show and Tell. In which case, I really want to play out this Leovold. Um, I might be reading too much into this, but I'm going to hedge against a combo deck here, rather than hedge against Delver. If I wasn't playing in the tournament practice room, I don't think I would play that way, though. But, like, being in the tournament practice room plus Mulligan, just, I don't know. I'm getting sneak attack vibes. Gamble? Are we, like, the Riddler deck, then? As of right now, next year I'm planning on entombing a Wasteland, Life from the Loam, Wastelanding this Volcanic Island. Riddler deck does not play a lot of lands. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's, it's like, something like 10. Yeah, it feels like the Riddler deck. I'm not super familiar with this deck. Um, I don't remember if it's Killer B or Killa B, um, but they recently put together a primer on that deck. One, two, three. Um, and so I would not be surprised to see more of it in the not too distant future as people mess around with something. Like, a lot of times, a, a primer or sideboard guide or, like, a video by someone like myself or Brian um, really motivates people to try out a deck list because it just makes it more accessible. Okay, there's some movement from my opponent. Um, this might just be getting Metalcraft, if I were to guess. This Leovold is probably a major pain in the butt. Like, it's going to stop the Echo-type stuff. Uh, okay, yep. Those cards are played out for Metalcraft. Understood. Do I have a hate card? No, I have an oof in the sideboard. Okay. This is all fine thus far. No imprint. Don't understand why you played that then. Two mana. Um, Burning Wish with three floating? Okay, Galvanic Relay. Yeah, that's super reasonable. Okay. Um... Regging doesn't seem fantastic here. Let's take a draw. I can green sun for x equals 3. Man, I really want an oof in the main deck. Um, yeah, my green sun's not very good. And I also don't have that much disruption that I can just randomly draw into. Like, I can e-wit for an entomb, but I don't really have a payoff. I think I'm just going to careful study here. 
Um, I don't want a dredge, I don't think. I, think I just want more looks. Oh my god, that was awful. Um, Drown Yard can go, and maybe an Urborg can go here. Um, yeah, not super thrilled here. Uh, without thinking about it much, grab an Underground Sea. Do this for two. Draw a card. No, I don't want to dredge still. Hit. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, we hit a lot of land there. Um, this Leovold is doing work. Uh, but my opponent has so many resources in exile here. I guess they don't have many resources in hand. Um, what kind of vibes I'm getting from my own deck right now is I just need more objectively powerful cards and less cute stuff. Like, I feel like I need Endurances and Plague Engineers and Collector Oofs and stuff of that general nature. Um, that's, that's where my head's at. All right. Because, like, I think I just instantly win this game if there's a Collector Oof in my 80-card main deck. And I think the same would often be true of, like, an Endurance or a Plague Engineer. Like, those cards are going to be less objectively good. Overmasters aren't great with Leovold in play. Maybe I uh, overestimated how good my opponent's hand was. Or, sorry, their uh, exile zone was, rather. Uh, no, I do, I do not want to uh, loam. I want to... <laughs> Fuck you, Phil! Fuck you! You're very much not death touchy, but you do fly. Draw a card immediately with Waterlog Grove is probably okay. Um, sorry, Wasteland of my opponent's just better. Okay, um, it's just it's just an anemic turn. Um, I will offer the old for Bergy. Yeah, that's fine. Like I'm going to be leaving my opponent super resource light with one card in hand here. Um, I am fine playing a new creature, and then. Putting Yorian into my hand. Like, Yorian draws me a card with Ice Fang Waddle. Alright, opponent's stuck. I do just get to hit them. Uh, no, I, I don't want a fucking life from the loam. I don't want to really stitch your supplier either. This is just going to be an attack for two. And then play Yorian draw a card. Now, what I'm doing here does not super powerful. Although I guess like my opponent can't play out lands and pass the turn so like I do need to give that some degree of credit. I have green green. I have blue blue. I have black black. Land choice doesn't super matter. Um, I'll pick up an extra black I guess. Yorian. I'll untap both of those I guess. I get to draw a card. No I don't. I don't want to loam. <laughs> Uh, okay. I don't know what all needs to happen, but something something needs to happen. All right. Leyline is happening. Mindbreak Trap is happening. Collector Oof is happening. Um, Rex Age is probably good enough. Vivian Reed can technically destroy an artifact, but that's probably not good enough. So looking at eight-ish cards. Um... Some amount of this stuff can go. That oh, it says first time playing this tech, if you can't tell, lol. No worries. I'm glad people are trying it. Oh, I should ask them if you've seen the primer primer. Alright, cool. They have seen it. Alright. Um these cards are coming in. I'm gonna board out at least one life from the loam here. I wanna leave this as an entomb target, and I wanna leave this as a green sun target. What's Circle of Landrio do again? Mills. I feel very uncomfortable with sideboarding with this deck. Maybe I should be looking at, like, trimming some of the cute lands. Um, uh, I am going to click on some cards as I feel relatively unsure about boarding. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I have enough green sun targets already and I don't actually need prime time. All right. The game on the draw is going to be harder, but we have Collector Roof in our opening hand, and everything is fantastic. 
All right, my opponent has mulligan to five, which is totally reasonable for the epic gamble. There is a grim monolith. My opponent will have a lot of turn two mana. Uh, you're late to the party. Um, this is just going to be delta pass. Now, my opponent's deck does mulligan pretty well, but there's a limit. Okay, um, my opponent is now officially in trouble because I'm about to drop a collector oof. This is probably blue green for Uro. Let's drop and thought scour myself. Entomb is not a great draw immediately. It might be fine in the future. Womp here. I don't need to take damage. I got trop. Um, that's going to be real hard for my opponent to beat here. Okay. Um. Ana has offered to requeue uh, with Ant if I want to play against him again. But I'm going to be adjusting this deck list. Alright, so... I can go ahead and get my 2 damage in with Collector Oof, and then I just need to kind of figure out where I'm going from there. The opponent says, you should play Leagues. Your skill can carry any brew. Okay, so it's, it's not about the question of skill. It's the question of, do I want to play 5 rounds with something super 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 questionable that like i know the mistakes after the first round or so or do i want the flexibility to adjust those that's what i care about here i think i'm just gonna play ditcher supplier see if we hit anything super interesting we do not and uh and entomb for a cabal therapy okay they're 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 just ready to give up with the collector roof. That's totally fine. Uh, GG's. Let's. I'm gonna make some adjustments and then I'll do deck tech number two. All right. Uh, I think this is round four on paper. Um, no colored sources here. We're gonna mull again. Uh -huh. How much do I believe? How much do I believe? I don't know that I believe one land enough. Like. These five cards are really good in conjunction if I hit some more land drops. I'm going to try to believe. I think I lose out on some... Did I not? Wrong zone? Okay. All right. We are playing against Death and Taxes. Uh, Rashad and Port and Wasteland are going to absolutely eat me alive here. Um, I think I have to Cabal Therapy something blind here. I don't think I can just play out Stitcher Supplier on turn one and then just let it eat a, eat a source to plowshares. I think Thalia beats me pretty hard here. Ooh, -hoo, wrong deck. All right. Um, we're playing against the Mono White Painter deck. <clears throat> Honestly, that's really good news for me because while my opponents. Yeah, did I forget to add Plague Engineers? Did I forget to add Plague Engineers after specific me. All right, I forgot to add Plague Engineers. I specifically talked about how much I wanted them, and then I got lost in the sauce during deck building and didn't add them. Fuck. Fuck. All right. So I'm going to play a Stitcher Supplier, and we'll kind of see what happens. I hate how many zones I care about right now. Oh, bonus Cabal Therapy. Cabal Therapy, target you. Mill some more cards. Hopefully find, like, a life from the loam. Yeah, you can put your mom into play. That's fine. Uh-huh. Uh, that's an Archonic Cruelty in my graveyard. I'm going to be naming Soul Guide Lantern. I just can't let my opponent take out my graveyard right now. Now, um, I'm not Stone Cold Dead <clears throat> to a Painter-Grindstone combo. I can... Endurance all my cards back into the deck and live through it for a turn. But I've I've got problems. Ingenious Smith will scale up over time and become large. I wonder if Mom is supposed to attack there. I don't have an answer to that. But I wonder. Probably retrofitter foundry and make uh, oh, uh hope is fine. Huh. Okay. All right. Um, hey, I have bonus Cabal Therapy. That is actively good for me. I know my opponent's last card is Retrofitter Foundry. So, Cabal Therapy, target you. Yes. I get blue-black. I can play Baleful Strix this turn. So I will do that. Okay. 
Uh, Retro Fitter Foundry was easily the scariest card in my opponent's hand. Um, I am O. I'll go ahead and play out a Baleful Strix. Ooh, drawing a land. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all of a sudden, like, we're working towards Archon of Cruelty. Or Primeval Titan, if I decide I want Primeval Titan instead. Or both over time. Like, I've got options, basically. That was not a smooth opener, in terms of, like, I did not have enough mana, but, like, the game is going to go well from here. Nice. Yeah, really wish I had put a Plague Engineer in this deck. That is what it is. All right. Cast Recurring Nightmare. There's Archon. Sacrifice Strix. Nice. Okay. Ooh, Oswald Fiddlebender, you say. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, Smith is down. I need to set a stop right here. <clears throat> Just in case. Not sure how aggressive my opponent is going to get with trying to kill me. But the answer is probably very. Like, they can turn Hope of Gearper or Aether Vial into a Painter. Yeah. And here's going to be the activation. Does mill my entire deck. That's not actually going to kill me. So, upkeep. God, I wish I had Plague Engineer. Just so close to doing what I wanted to. I think I have to pitch cast this rather than use mana here. I think I need to evoke. Probably pitching Grist. Uh, maybe pitching Uro, actually. There's some worlds where uh, I get to do the things that I want. So I want to put this on the stack first, targeting me, and then let its evoke happen. Sacrificing it so I can put it back into my deck to potentially draw it again. Holy shit, folks. That's real good. That's real good. You trample? No, but you're good in other ways. What a draw. Like, I thought I was going to have to entomb for that. All right, Fiddlebender down. See if my opponent blocks and protects. All right, there's the block. It's super bad for them if they protect. Oh, it's legendary. That's right. That's fine. Like, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish by attacking. I think I want to leave this in play. Uh, I'm just kind of thinking about what I want to do with the rest of my mana here. Two for Collector Oof. Three for Grist. One open. That can be some like a Bayou or something that I get off of Verdant Catacombs. Um, why don't I go ahead and fetch that land out now just so I don't mill it? Grab Bayou, play Underground Sea. One, two, three. There's Grist. Lost Grist. Gives me nice recurring nightmare fodder. Uh, found recurring nightmare. So now I shut off my opponent's grindstone. And minus something like Portable Hole happening, I think I'm pretty good. Like, that shuts off Grindstone and Ancient Den. Like, it's, it's a potent turn. And prime time, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, yeah. Yeah, opponent tapped the mana for portable hole and then was like, shit. I don't have it. Rex Sage is a fantastic green sun target, and for reasons that are probably very clear after last game, I probably want to play Endurance as well. Thoughtseize is also playable. Got seven cards that I can work with here. How is Leovold? Opponent is playing Caracas. So probably not great. That gets me the Rex Sage. And yeah, we won that off that one lander, just for those of you keeping track at home. Or over Landru, it's probably cuttable. That becomes one of the endurances. I know my opponent has Caracas and Graveyard Hate. I'm gonna turn an Uro into an endurance. Maybe turn a Thought Scour into an endurance. And it's just like, do I want to run Thoughtseize? Like, my opponent's a combo deck, but they're playing to the board a lot of the time. I might want Thoughtseize on the draw. Got a Loam for one pretty easily. Key Witness is slow, but a second shot at a Collector Oof is pretty cool. 
Go down a veteran explorer. Another thought scour. I am adding a plague engineer to the deck in between rounds, by the way. Like, that's gotta happen. That's my bad for forgetting. Um, this hand is reasonable. Like, this hand has access to a collector oof. Um, which is going to be one of my better cards in the matchup. So I am good with keeping. This is getting a black source. Doesn't need to be green. It needs to be black blue, which is underground sea. I will therapy my opponent. I kind of want to name portable hole, but I think I'm just supposed to name like either painter or Oswald. Let's name painter. Orper orb. Okay. Huh, so that Torpor Orb is going to stop my opponents, um, the, the one in a white creature that scales up, forget what it's actually called, Entomb, not amazing yet, if I care about this Torpor Orb, I can take it out with the Dryad Arbor and Cabal Therapy, I'm not sure that I care, like, I have Endurance and Eternal Witness, but I'm just not really sure that I care. This just re represents Collector Oof, which is just so good. I don't know. I also could just get Dryad Arbor. This turn's hard. Let's... Let's take the Torpor Orb. Get Dryad Arbor. Wall Therapy, target you. Mom will get put in. Yeah, that's fine. I just think if I don't take that, I could regret it. Lion Sash. Okay. I don't get wastelanded right now. My opponent's got my graveyard on check though, which makes my um Eternal Witness much worse, and it makes a bunch of my other cards worse as well. This in Tomb, for example. Alright. Uh well that's that's actually very good. This is just something else that doesn't get wastelanded. Now I just lose to this Lion Sash just eating the permanence from my graveyard. And just becoming thick. Don't have, like, the pernicious deed type cards that would sweep this board. It's also just very possible that I just played the game wrong and I should have just let Torpor Orb happen. Alright, my opponent's played their Wasteland. I've kind of adjusted that zone out of play now that I don't know the stuff in their hand. Alright, yeah. I uh, figured that was going to happen. Get hit for four here. Bringing me to 15. On it left mana up instead of hitting me for 5. An Eternal Witness nothing. Um, I'm just going to main phase this and deny my opponent one Lion Sash activation. Like, if I cared more about this card... Hmm, that's not a good way to say that. Swords? Okay, you have swords. Um, yeah, this game feels lost. I've got entirely graveyard stuff versus a lion sash. Like, well, I'm not going to lose to the combo. Um, I'm just going to lose to a large creature here. Um, lion sash in a vacuum is not, like, a super, super powerful card, but in the right circumstances like this, like, the card really shines. Like, it's good. All right, and opponent playing a little conservatively with the lion sash activations, uh, and I don't blame them after what they have seen in other games. I'm down to 13. I think if I don't have a reasonable top deck here, I am going to concede. Um, I'm just not beating this with this backup here. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, this, this one just didn't work out. After what I saw that game, I think I'm going to go Thought Scours out. The Life from the Loam to be a little better versus Wasteland. And then maybe play one of these three cards. Veteran Explorer makes my Cabal Therapies a little better. I'll go with that. Okay. Um, This hand has Recurring Nightmare, the mana to cast it, but nothing really to do. Like, I can kind of try to strip my opponent's hand, but I don't think this is better than, like, a respectable Collector Oof hand or something. I like this six. I'm going to keep it pitching the redundant copy of Life from the Loam. Um, and I think I have to play Stitcher Supplier off Blooming Marsh here. Um, I want to play Strix turn to a huge proportion of the time. And if my opponent wastelands me, I think I'm good with that. Like, given that I have the life from the loam. Oh, hey, it's another life from the loam. 
Uh, let's also remove this stop. I needed that for one very specific reason. Okay, there is a grindstone. Um, do I want to dredge? I've already got another life from the loam in hand. I think the answer is no. Um, recurring nightmare is great. Um, I'm not really afraid of being wastelanded. Let's just get better mana. Like, get trop here, I think. And we'll go ahead and play out a Strix. I'm probably dredging life from the loam next turn, but I don't want to, uh, like... Just telegraph, like, hey, I have Recurring Nightmare in hand. Like, that's that's probably not good for me. And Dredging Life from the Loam also, like, gives me another green card in hand for Endurance in case my opponent just goes, goes like, balls to the walls uh, for a painter. It is Mr. Fiddlebender. This is fine. Um, I will Dredge. There is a Cabal Therapy, which I'm okay with casting. Potentially makes my recurring nightmare better if I hit something cool. Um, so let's see where this goes. Baleful Strix and another Cabal Therapy. Okay. Um, so we'll name Paint. We only name Painter. I'll still name Painter. Although I think this is Painter after this. Or no, this can only be done at sorcery speed, right? Sorcery speed. Sorcery speed. Yeah, let's still just name Painter Servant with the first one. Sure. Yeah, opponent's Wasteland's not looking great versus my life from the loam. I don't know that I care about my opponent's cards in hand. <clears throat> like, they don't really matter much. Um, Let's take an attack for one. Totally fine with that. Let's cast Recurring Nightmare. I think it's better to return... There's probably not too... Probably better to return Baleful Strix here. My opponent can get Graveyard Hate by sacrificing their Ancient Den. And I think I'm happy enough to call it a turn here. Like, I don't think I need to Cabal Therapy those cards. We will see if my opponent is actually willing to sacrifice their Ancient Den for Graveyard Hate. And I don't care if they disenchant Baleful Strix. Okay, there's Floating the Mana off Ancient Den. Or I guess, rather, using the mana off Ancient and not floating. Okay, they are getting rid of the Grindstone. There is a Lion Sash, which is pretty damn good. Yeah. Don't want to use an Endurance to nuke my own graveyard here. Not um, pitch casting it anyway. Um, This is awkward. I think I'm just playing a land, passing the turn, and then Endurancing when my opponent goes to eat something from my graveyard. Uh, but this is, uh, this is not what I want to be doing. And I'm just going to hold this back since it has Death Touch. Ooh, opponent played around it. Okay, my opponent is now junking Ancient Den. That's fine. Kind of expected that. That's fine. <clears throat> That's fine. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and just start casting copies of Endurance. I guess this one will just target my opponent's graveyard. Like I was planning on clearing out my own. Uh, that's not great right now. I guess currently I'm the beatdown. Uh, which I don't feel super good about. <clears throat> Ooh. Sure. So my opponent takes one here. I wonder if I need to cast a life from the loam here. Try to force popping Soul Guide Lantern for the future. Just grabbing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Like, targeting two colored mana sources and a Field of the Dead. Okay, yeah. That was good enough to get the Graveyard exiled, and my opponent can eat this with Lion Sash. I've got another, though. Um, weird game. Another Swords? Wow. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Also, my opponent used one of these wastelands. Like, I know that has happened. Sure, that's fine. Ooh, that's actively annoying, though. Yeah, send send them in. I'm much more graveyard-focused than I thought I was. I loam this. My opponent just gets very good value. Okay, um... 
I'm in an awkward situation where I can't really play any of my cards. Uh, that's happening. Now, those, uh, those wastelands went from being dead against me to good against me once my opponent had Lion Sash. Um, so life's rough. Um, I'm at 17, so, like, I'm not too bad off in terms of life total, but I'm pretty bad off in terms of a lot of other things. And Lion Sash will start picking away at my stuff. Can't block that with Endurance ever. Uh, maybe I was supposed to nuke my opponent's graveyard at end step and, um, just, like, let that happen. And, like, not try to surprise an Oswald Fiddlebender in combat. I'm going to attack into Ice Fang Coatl there. Um, I'm going to try to make my opponent's life a little bit awkward. Get regular Forest. I cannot afford to get Wastelanded again. Like, it's unlikely that my opponent has one. But I absolutely just, like, cannot afford to get Wastelanded. I'm kind of hoping that my opponent just eats two here and gets a little greedy. And I randomly just, oops, make a... Big, big. Actually, I guess I can't randomly, oops, make a big, big, unless I get Bayou here. Um, yeah, maybe I messed up. We'll see. I'm punished for not getting Bayou if I draw a black land. I did not, but I'm punished for getting Bayou for a different reason. Oh, um, yeah. Um, this, like, this game just has not worked out for me. I, think I have to hold this back, otherwise my opponent can just, like, block that if they want. Or otherwise just crack me back harder. I didn't expect to fold the Grave Hate so hard, but here we are. Although, honestly, like, I probably lost the game for not getting Bayou. Because, like, I would have killed Lion Sash. And then, like, the rest of this stuff could have done its stuff. Yeah, I think I should have gotten Bayou. Like, it's it's true that I lose if I get Wastelanded again, but... Maybe I need to play to my strengths better. Okay. This is bad. I need to draw a black mana source. If I do, I can kill this. And I can potentially come back. It would be hard. Eh? Eh? That would have been real bad. Okay, there's a black mana source. Um, a basic one at that. Swamp. Wrist. Or World Ride is plus? Maybe I just plus. That chump blocks this. Yeah, I think that's better. Like, I want Lion Sash dead, but I lose the Endurance if I take that line. And then I get hit down to two, or alternatively, Grist dies. What just happened? Oh, oh Lion Sash activation. Sure. I'm low-ish on clock, so I'm going to go ahead and F6 here. Okay, that's, that's a 1-1 one, one that doesn't trigger an ability. I'm good with that. Yeah, they're just attacking me. That's fine. I'll jump. I really need a creature. Thoughtseize is not a creature. Yeah, I think I just have to plus again. Um, which is really unfortunate for me. I also think I need to ram this out there. A little awkward in that, like, Disenchant can now take this card. What's Gris Ultimate? Life equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Okay, well that's not good. <clears throat> that number is going to remain very small. And just FYI, this can only be activated at sorcery speed. All right, Lion Sash beat down. Okay, all of that is attacking me. This 100% goes here. If I block this, I save one point of life, but I allow my opponent to play the other Oswald Fiddlebender, or my opponent can just Caracas bounce it. So I think I'm just going to take a raw body off the battlefield here. And. This information, by the way, is why you try to keep track of, uh, like, revealed zones and cards in hand and stuff. Another life from the loam. Not really good. Not really good. Um, so this is just Grist Plus, and I end up back in the same situation that I was in previously, unfortunately. I don't need a lot here. Um, but I do need something. Like, it can basically be any castable creature. Or a blue land for Yorian. Like, once this Lion Sash is off the table and I can start life from loaming, like, I can probably set up a Field of the Dead or a Grist kill very quickly. Alright, Lion Sash comes in. 
I chump block. And this awkward song and dance continues. Uh, Wasteland. Not very strong. I will play that. I will plus Grist. I don't even think I'll Wasteland my opponent. Need to save seconds on the clock at this point. That'd do a removal spell. Alright. We do this same thing that we've been doing for 1,000 years. Hope to draw better. Uh, I am F6, by the way. If opponent wastelands my wasteland, I don't get to wasteland their Caracas. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I, I need I need the time. Oh, that's that's tough to beat. Uh, that is a pain land. That's not good for me. Immediately cycle that. And in tomb. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and plus here. Um, and opponent is just gonna eat all my lands anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, three, and four. Yeah, like, I have bricked on a creature for so many turns. Uh, it is very frustrating. Because I think this Urza Saga now is just going to beat me. Yeah. And I just kind of, like, drew the wrong land to not be able to cast Yorian, unfortunately. Oh my god, another one. Uh, also, if they have a Shadow Spear, that also just kills me. Oh, my opponent is doing something now. Ooh, is my Grist about to get Pithy Needled? Because that's scary. <clears throat> that is what's happening. Unfortunate. At this point, I think I'm just going to concede the game. Like, I can play Veteran Explorer and, like, try to do some nonsense, but I don't think I have enough time on the clock to actually win through, like, these Urza Saga Construct tokens, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Okay, final round here. Uh, my mana's awkward. I think I still keep it. Like, I don't have access to green, but I have really good graveyard-based stuff going on, and, like, that's one of the things my deck wants to do. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, with Strix and Thought Scour as redraws, I think I'm okay with doing this. Um, if my opponent's playing a combo deck, though, like, I cannot currently interact with them um, without drawing another black source. Okay, this is fine. That's actively good. Um, I will just go ahead and play the Strix. It's a little awkward for me if it gets dazed, but... I really want that raw card draw. Okay. My mana problems have largely resolved themselves. I don't have a strong feeling for what my opponent is doing yet, though. Uh, life from the Loam. I might end up playing that this turn. Um, I'll start by just taking my Baleful Strix attack, though. Part of me wants to get cute and entomb for Cabal Therapy and try to figure out what the fuck is going on over there, but I think I miss too much of the time to want to do that. Like, I name Brainstorm or something safe like that. Alright. Mighty one damage from my owl. Oh yeah. Um, let's start here. Like, I could just find a Cabal Therapy, which would be cool. Found a Primeval Titan. Would have liked that Recurring Nightmare. Just past turn. I don't know. Like, I can Thought Scour into Cabal Therapy specifically, or into a tapped land. Um, I will. I will Thought Scour myself. Dazably. Green Sun. Green Sun gets Leovold, which is really good. Okay. I have hit two of my Recurring Nightmares, so just heads up. I guess I have Eternal Witness. I am going to Entomb here. Give my opponent some therapy, huh? Sacrificing the Stitcher Supplier. Oh, another Cabal Therapy. That's hot. Um, I'm going to name Brainstorm for the first one so that my opponent can't uh, put stuff back. Response to the second one. Hell yeah. It? And then getting rid of Strix is fine. Go ahead and sacrifice that. I think I'm just going to name the Expressive Iteration rather than the Snapcaster Mage. Let's, let's just solve that problem. Because if I'm playing against a a slow control deck. I can, in theory, just use um, Field of the Dead. To, oh my god. Yeah. Just Dryad Arbor into Recurring Nightmare. I think that's better than Leovold. 
little awkward that I have to do this like this, though. No, I, I, I want to do this in this order. I do not want Riot Arbor to get swords to Plowshared. I don't want to create that priority pass. <clears throat> I just think that's too much of a risk. Like, I know most of my opponent's cards. Um, and the nice thing here is that if my opponent chooses to Snapcast or Brainstorm and counters this, this still leaves me with Green Sun to get, like, Leovold or Uro after this. So I think I like this line um, significantly better. This line plays around more stuff. This line also potentially Brainstorm locks my opponent. Okay, there's the Brainstorm. All right, uh, looks like we're resolving. Oh, I'm wrong. Force of Will, Pitching, Dress Down. I'm good with just ending my turn here. I don't think I want to just get a Dryad Arbor. Although, honestly, um, my opponent has the Force of Will, and they also have Prismatic Ending. Maybe they're supposed to just let Recurring Nightmare resolve, and then if I cast something else, they counter that. And then just Prismatic Ending um, the Recurring Nightmare out of the way. And then if I don't have a creature to follow up, um, it's just better. Doesn't require the two for one. I think my next turn is just fly from the loam, target, wasteland, two fetch lands, wasteland, Valk. Maybe play green sun if I feel like it. I think I just need to be like making land drops in the long term to make sure that I can beat my opponent with field of the dead. Again, though, Leovold also pretty choice. All right, I will take my snapcaster beats. Um, I would like to loam the Wasteland Delta Verdant, one, two mana, Force of Negation would be awkward. Opponent only has one unknown card, though, so, well, okay, they could technically have multiple unknown cards, but Prismatic Ending seems good to me. All right, it did work, so I'm going to go ahead and just take out that Volcanic Island. Brainstorm away. All right, good stuff. I don't have extra green mana this turn, unfortunately. And I also don't have three mana for Yorian. Okay, um, opponent does have more land. Good news for them. Uh, not interested in Loaming. Ew, that's probably the worst draw on my deck. Make a land drop here. Uh, actually, I probably want to fetch. I take one damage either way. Get a regular forest. Just in case some sort of back to basics sort of stuff starts to happen. Alright, here's a green sun for X equals 3 to attempt Leovold. I could attempt like Grist or Uro as well. Maybe Uro's better, actually. Uro lets me make another land drop. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I do not want to dredge life from the loam there. Thought scour. I'll put a Delta onto the field. Button fetch. Grab Snow Covered Island. I'll Thought Scour myself. Not interested in those. Very good at hitting lands, though. Okay. We'll call it a turn there. Now opponent's fetching to clear that Brainstorm from a little while ago. Very happy to just take two. Like, that's absolutely fine with me. Not interested in dredging loam. Wrist is great. Um, let's start with Uro, though. Four mana. We'll junk the Thought Scour type stuff first, and then I can probably go after some lands. Okay, Uro has just resolved. Um, not interested in dredging here. <laughs> All right. Throw down a Delta. I'll go ahead and fetch. Can't grab Swamp this turn to do what I want to do. So I will ignore that. Play Eternal Witness. That, yeah, that's good enough for a concession. Yeah, that's fine. Played that one nice and patiently. I don't super like Veteran Explorer here. Like, ramping my opponent isn't fantastic. And I, I'm also, like, maybe not the biggest fan of Cabal Therapy. Like, it was very good this game, but I don't know that that's going to be the norm. I think I'd rather keep my creatures in play most of the time. I don't really want Collector Oof. 
I don't know that I'm interested in veteran explorers. I'm much more interested in the top end of my curve. I'm potentially not interested in cabal therapy, although I might leave one as a tutor target. This can get me carpets, endurances. Is this good? Probably not good. I can play like a Rex Sage or a Thought Seize or something or a Mind Break Trap to fill out the deck. <clears throat> or I could just keep a Veteran Explorer as a tutor target as well. Keep a Veteran Explorer as a tutor target. Plague Engineer is not great. Rex Sage is maybe good against some sideboard cards. But I think I'm going to start playing without it. And my, I think, opponent has realized like this is not happening. Um, that's totally respectable. Not really how I wanted to end this video, but I'm good with it. Overall thoughts on the deck list at the end of the video here. What I have now is much tighter than what was presented at the beginning of the video. But ultimately, my question is, like, why do you want to play this deck other than this deck is fun? And I can't super come up with an answer to that. And specifically, what I mean by this is, like, why do I want to play, like, Yorian Recurring Nightmare? Like, those things in conjunction. Because, like, Recurring Nightmare did some work. Yorian, I don't think we ever cast it. And, like, maybe we put it into my hand. Or no, no, sorry, we, we cast it once. And I put it into my hand maybe once or twice beyond that. But... I imagine this deck can be built in a 60-card configuration that is a little bit tighter and has better mana. <clears throat> and that will still have, like, the Field of the Dead inevitability while being able to assemble, like, Recurring Nightmare plus relevant creatures more often. Um, I, I like some of the stuff that's here. One of the things that I dislike, though, is that, like, the Life from the Loam and Recurring Nightmare axes overlap in terms of the Graveyard Hate. And that means that so many of my cards do nothing against Graveyard Hate. And if we get paired against, like, Leyline of the Void or Rest in Peace or something like that, um, I feel like the deck is totally shut down. Like, Lion Sash was bad enough, and that's a card that requires a constant mana commitment. So this overall strategy... Oh, and the Uros too, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So, like, this overall strategy might have too much of a focus on the Graveyard, which is a common area of hate to ultimately be successful but I very much like the design space that is being explored here. Um, if you are going to try to take this deck list further, further and you are going to remain on the Yorian end, one thing I encourage you to do is actually physically run some numbers on the mana base because I threw in more colored pips. I did not sit here and say, how many of X, Y, and Z source do we have? Um, so for example, Yorian is a little hard to cast since it does require blue, blue, but that's a super end game thing. Like, is that fine? Um, you know, think about those sorts of things. Um, very happy with the adjusted sideboard. Like the Whip Tongue Hydra probably doesn't belong, but like, don't tell anyone because it's cool, right? Like we're on the same page there. Okay, good. Um, yeah, and this was a lot of fun, Vittorio. I hope, uh, I hope I've given you some insight in uh, helping to improve this deck list. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button on your way out. It helps out a lot. If you want to get one of your own decks on the channel, that information as well as this deck list is in the video description. And if you want to support me financially in a smaller amount, consider becoming a YouTube member or joining my Patreon in order to gain access to my Discord where we chat about this deck list and many others. Have a great rest of the day, folks. See ya. Okay, um, so something interesting has happened. So you're going to get a couple more minutes of bonus content here at the end. Um, I was actually contacted by Titan Reaver, um, the donor on Discord, and she shared with me uh, an updated version of the deck list. So I kind of wanted to talk about that briefly. Um, I think she had some awesome ideas. Um, some of them kind of align with what I was doing, and some of them are different. Um, we have a couple of changes here, um, which, and I think the biggest one here is commune with the gods. Um, I cut the careful studies from the deck, as did she. I just didn't feel like they were getting enough value. Whereas Commune with the Gods should replace itself. It's a way to find your creatures. It's a way to find Recurring Nightmare and also maybe bend some targets for the Recurring Nightmare or maybe bin a Life from the Loam. 
Well, I think c commune with the gods is kind of like medium as far as like the power level of legacy cards go. Like this is a really good fit here. Um, and this is probably worth exploring further. Um, I think she was kind of on the same page as I was in that like a couple more just generic good cards needed to find their way into the deck. Um, and we see Thrag Tusk as well as one that I haven't really played with Deep Forest Hermit. Um, which is pretty cool. Anything that creates a lot of bodies is really good in a recurring nightmare deck, assuming you can get to the mana to recast that card. Um, I, and one of the biggest reasons that I'm, I'm recording this little postscript thing here is actually because I think Hornet Queen is way better than the six drop that I currently had in the sideboard. Hornet Queen saw a little bit of play in one of the, uh, I think it was the Legacy Showcase Challenge recently in a pretty crazy list. And it's the sort of thing, like, if you cast that and it resolves, like, Elver has to expend so many resources, because it's not just about killing the Hornet Queen, it's about killing the four insects that come with it that all have Death Touch, so they all trade with a Murktide. And, like, you also have to worry about, like, Yorian blinking that. Like, that sounds like an absolute nightmare. Um, so for those of you who want to experiment in general with this deck, I hope, like, my thoughts and Titan Reaver's thoughts here give you some interesting directions to take that um i do still think some of the changes that i made are are better i think commune is awesome that is worth exploring further but like you might want to like mash our two deck lists together you know like shuffle them together take the best of both worlds um so like i like my endurances better than i like leyline of the void um and i i think there's room for improvement in this deck still and brewers out there like have fun trying to find that I've already done my, uh, like, exit spiel, so I'll see you around. Come back tomorrow for more sweet content. Unless, you know, it's Friday, in which case come back on Monday for more sweet content. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go.